As a Python developer, it's important to know about training. So here we have a simple code. If I execute this, you will see it will start with a one up, wait two seconds, say it's done. Then we'll start with a two up, say it's starting, then it's done. But if we add training to this, we can actually run these in parallel. So just by simply importing a thread from training and set it up like this, giving them one other thread each, we can execute this now and we'll see that one and two starts starting up in parallel and they are done in parallel. That way you can make your code as effective as possible. As a Python developer, you would sometimes like to scrape data from the web. A quick way to do this is simply by importing requests. So you can basically just say read.get and then define the page that you, will, you want to scrape the HTML data from. Once you have this, you can just print out the response and you can just do this by printing out the text. So if we print this, as you see, we get the full HTML data from google.com. That's a quick way to scrape any website using Python. So as a Python developer, you would want to optimize the readability of your data. For example, if we have this integer here, we print it, we see that it's just like uh, 5 million printed out, but we can actually add dividers in between this to optimize readability of the variable. But if we print this again, the dividers is still gone. But what we can do is to add this little print statement where if and curly braces numbers and then the divider uh, is here. If we now print this, we will see that the dividers is actually also printed to the output. This is a quick way to optimize your uh, readability of integers. As a Python developer, it's efficient to know how to uh, operate and work with numbers. So for example, you can easily uh, round up a number variable you have. You can do so by just using Python's simple round and then define which place in the original number you want to round up. So here we round up to three, but we can actually also round the entire uh, number up to an equal number. So since this is lower, we will go to 13, but if we change this to six, we'll go to 14. You can actually also skip the numbers here and then go uh, minus two, for example, to round up the number inside. Here we went down to 200 because it's the nearest round number here, but if we choose six, again, you can round up. This is a nice way to operate with uh, numbers in Python.